Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight I was just playing around to try to design something like this, and I think it came out pretty well. If you um, almost like rings that are in a circle, so we're gonna we're gonna move this out of the way. We're gonna create one, and the reason I decided to make the video because it's gonna use quite a few tools. So we're gonna take an ellipse, but not hold down the control button, so it's not it's an oval. Then we're going to go to the extrude tool and we're going to extrude. It doesn't really matter how much. And then we're going to get to the rotation and we're going to rotate. And this is, you know, it doesn't really matter what you, you know, how far you go with it or how much you angle it because it's yours. Get the extrude tool back and then make it a little bit narrower. So now we have th the extrude and we're going to, it's already selected, so we're going to object and break the extrude apart. Then we need to delete the lines we do not need. So we're going to take the virtual segment delete key, and you wouldn't be able to see that or that. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take the Smart Fill tool, and we're going to make this a black. We're going to make the other one a, a gray, and we're going to go ahead and use the uh, interactive fill tool to go from like edge to edge but we're going to put that gray on both ends but then in the middle we're going to you can actually just bring in a, a a darker you don't even have to make a box just place it there and it gives you that that look and then click off that and then click your inside our inside is going to be a little darker so we're gonna keep the black. But if we put black on both ends and then put the gray kind of in the middle, it'll look like kind of like a shadow and you could play around with this and do whatever you want to with it. So that's done. We're gonna go ahead and select it all and take away the outline. <clears throat> then I'm gonna to attempt to try to draw a line right through it, kind of like make it perfect and just keep going and, and make it like right there. Now I'm gonna control G to group this together. I'm gonna control D to duplicate it. I'm gonna make the ro center rotation of that, that end of that line and I'm gonna go to wherever I wanna go. And then I'm gonna control D again. I might not go through all the colors, but all, it's already the same. Um, you know, you've already got the interactive fill tool going. We're gonna go ahead and select it all and ungroup it because we want those two colors to be ungrouped. And then let's make the first one yellow. So I'm gonna make a yellow box, click it with yellow, hold down the control button and add some black to make it darker. Then I'm gonna zoom in here. I'm gonna take my interactive fill tool and see the other one is still there. So now I'm gonna take a yellow and put it to the top. Take a yellow, put it to the bottom. Now you can't just touch that, but if we touch this, go up here to the eyedropper tool, we can sample that color and hit okay. So it kind of looks like a shadow. We're gonna leave the inside the same. We're gonna hit the plus key on the keyboard and make it another, well, we don't have to make a copy, we're just Let's make the next one blue. Hold down the control button and make a little black. Add a little black, make a little bit darker blue. Get the interactive fill tool and just change the two ends to a blue. And then change, you actually have to take the eyedropper tool to take a sample of this new color and then hit okay. Let's do a red now. Control key, add a little black. So I'm just clicking on the black, making it a little bit darker. I'm gonna click with that. I'm gonna bring my red into the two ends. And you could do just the opposite. You could have it darker on the ends and lighter on the middle. Probably would probably even would look better. That probably would have been smarter. That looks pretty cool, but we could do the same thing. Well, let's just change the red back. Let's put a uh, that dark color on the outside. I 
I don't think there's any other way besides just using the eyedropper tool. Now we're going to take the red and put it in the middle. There you go. That might even look better because it's it is going into the into the shadow of the turn. So let's do one more. Let's do a green. Hold down the control button and make a little bit darker green. Grab our interactive fill tool again. And this time we're going to put the darker. That's why you have to use the eyedropper. Because it'll start messing with that. I was hoping you could do both of them at one time. And then take the lighter green and put it in the middle. So it kind of looks like it's the shadow. And then when you're through, you could put it, see what it would look like on a shirt or whatever, or whatever you're gonna do it on. Pretty neat design. And you could you could go all the way around the circle. And it's a little bit time consuming, but it's a pretty cool effect. I actually like my first one better because um, the half color is into the dark where I didn't really go far enough and that I'm going to change that yellow because that's going to bug me so let's take a yellow control button add a little black grab that with the interactive fill tool and go in and, and um, see I don't think you could just nope you can't click it so we need to get the interactive fill tool back, sample that, sample, well, I hit white somehow. There we go. And then do the same thing for the other side. Eyedropper tool, get a sample of that, hit okay, and then we're just gonna take the normal yellow and put it right in the middle. Now this color you can drag over I don't think you can drag over this because you're you're trying to start a new uh, interactive field tool. I'm going to go and change the blue because that's going to bug me. So hold down the control button and make it a little bit blacker, darker. Grab the blue interactive field tool. Grab that eyedropper. Put that there. Grab that eyedropper. Now, on this one, we can just grab a color because it's off the color palette. That looks a lot better uh, with it darker on the shadow. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.